we uh, we did get some texts. Some people were like, "Listen, Wade Wade shut down James Harden's ass in the finals." I don't want to hear any of this talk that people think that he's better. I'm with you, sir. Anybody who thinks that's a dumb dumb. Now I will say this: James Harden in the playoffs has never played like James Harden in the regular season. That being said, we've said that about a lot of guys who haven't gotten over the hump. We said that about LeBron before he got to Miami. Yep. The only guy we've never really said that about, believe it or not, we said about Jordan. Said about Jordan. It mm-hmm. took him seven, seven years. The one guy we haven't said that about is D. Wade. No. How could Think you? About it. He had a no, game winner his rookie year. I'm just saying, is there anybody else? Like, how long did it take Kobe? Because Kobe didn't even play his first couple of years. I think he didn't play on a consistent basis till his second or third year. I think Kobe won by his fourth year, but he wasn't. I mean, Shaq was the guy on that team. But he was, right. he was, because I think, what was their first one in 99 is when they won? Right. No, no, that was the, that was the, no. 2000 was the first one, right? 2000, 2001, right. 2002, those were, that was their three-peat. So that would have been five years into his career. Yep. But Wade, Wade won his third year. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, who? Um, I Wade, mean, was winning, can... Wade, Wade was winning series as a rookie. He got hurt with that that damn that damn rib the second the uh, in the second year, with when he was doing the circus shots against the Pistons and what. No, the circus shot was the next year, but he uh, he had the cra- the crazy shot against the Pistons, uh, and then he got hurt. Tried to play through it, and then the third year they won the championship. Like the guys, dude's dude's been a winner from from year one. From year one. And James Harden, look, James Harden wasn't in the same role with OKC. He wasn't the go-to guy. But, I mean, Chris Bosh has said, like, the guy they wanted to target in that series to stop was James Harden. They knew that he was a dynamic player and and and, and could kind of cut off the head of the snake for them. But, look, man, uh, if you want to compare resumes, like, good good for James Harden. He can rack up all the arcade numbers he wants. He's a he's a finagler of the rules. He's he's a cheater. He's not a finagler. Look, he's no, a on, finagler hold on, hold on, hold on, of the rules. Hold on. If he can get those guys to call fouls, then it's on them. It ain't on him. All right, you know what? Look, I give you a perfect example. I give you a perfect example. I give you how this works in other sports. You ever see a offense get called for too many uh, too many men in the backfield? Right. Um, yeah. All right. You sure. you know what it's from? Because your tackles try to cheat back as much as they can because of that pass rusher, right? And they keep inching back, and the rule is your helmet has to be on the guy's shoulder blade or something like that. I don't know the exact rule, but that's what it is. Your helmet has to be on the center's, um, you know, small uh, shoulder blade or something along those lines. So they try to cheat it. They try to cheat it. Some some officials give them a little leeway, so it almost looks like a uh, like they've already built a pocket before the ball snapped. Others don't play that, so they try to cheat and and get as much as they possibly can. That may not be the rule, but if that official allows it, you do what you can. Harden, he knows they're gonna call those ticky tack fouls. They've tried. Look, they've tried to adjust the rules. Right, so you can't do that just arm under throw up thing. They just give you a foul and no shots. They've tried to adjust it, but he keeps he keeps changing with the game. Also, I'm not gonna get mad at James Harden. Is it the best basketball to watch? Watch him shoot 23 no. free throws? No, it's not. But it's not cheating. It is though. Like he he'll come with these shots. The right? officials call the officials call fouls. That's not on him. I understand, but what about what about the non-travel calls, where he's a, he's able to levitate behind the three-point line? <laughs> what about LeBron like, put the LeBron put the ball under his arm? What about what ah, about he can't huh? score? He can't score with that. Like no, I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not putting the crab dribble or any of that stuff in wait, the same regards as wait, James James Harden's hoverboard dribbling. No, J- James Harden does the the Barney rubble. Yeah, like, cart- <laughs> like the cartoon. <laughs> hey, look, man. 
it, they get away with it. Somebody texts in on the new line. They say, uh, say hot to us. So I know this works. Huge fan of the show. Hot to hot to a. We got to get you. Uh, we got to get Leroy to switch his line over because I know he's not getting these. I don't no, even know I, how I did it. I don't even know how I did it. I was just pressing buttons and I ended up with having the line. See if you get it. You see that little uh, in the corner where the old number is. Drop it down and then click on the one under it and then like get off the page and then come back. See if that works for well you. I, I feel like that's all I did. No. Text writes in, uh, when Hardy gets these stupid fouls, he's an all-star who knows how to play the defense. Nah, nah, nah. He's he's he, it, it's 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 rope rope. It's like you're going out there, and he's he, you're falling for 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 trickery. It's not it's not you know some may call it skill. I know like G, you know Jimmy Butler's giving his uh, his respect, saying he's the hardest one of the hardest guys to guard in the league. Yeah, it's because it, it's because it, you're going up there. He's got three extra players, the refs. He's got the zebras out there with the whistles. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, what happened here? Oh, oh, let me see. So. All I'm saying is I'm not I'm not going to hear any talk of that. How I got on that was uh w- was was with this MVP talk because you know Daryl Morey will put him in these MVP talks. You know it's such a it's such a hard thing where Dwayne Wade won a scoring championship his best year, and who did he have to go up against in competition? Prime LeBron. That was who he had to fight the MVP for. And now James Harden got to live in a world where the media got tired for voting for LeBron James, and LeBron James was getting punished for coaching during during the. Uh, during the regular season. Meanwhile, James Harden, James Harden coasts on half the half the basketball. <laughs> they go out there, score a gazillion points, gazillion to a gazillion. So he gets to go out there coasting, floating, take as many steps as you want, take your trips to the free throw line. Uh, but we're but he's putting up historic numbers against LeBron. It's like in LeBron we voted for. Eh. That's my like it's my mesh of like Zach Lowe, Bill Simmons, and the nerds. You know, these real whiz kids who go up there and they try and go put uh somebody like James Harden as MVP. Pick a real MVP. Like a man. Are you done? What? Why why are you so caught up? It's just ridiculous. You have a good season like Dwayne Wade had where he won the scoring title. He's got to go up against prime LeBron. They're like, nah, listen, great job, Dwayne Wade, but we got to give it to LeBron James, even though he's playing with the with the corpse of Jermaine O'Neal out there. And, 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 and you know, they're like, well, LeBron's going to play with Mo Williams. At least Mo Williams could walk. He could jump over a credit card. Even Zagrudis Ilgowskis had more hops than Jermaine O'Neal at that point. What are we talking are about? What? What? Oh, my. I just, I, I, you know, you're not going to convince me because when they come out with these stupid list, you know, whenever it is down the line and it comes to, oh, well, it, 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 sorry, we're going to have to we're going to have to go in and we're going to have to put Dwayne at 28 on the list because James Harden moved up the list. Not player, not playing that game. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. You make your ineligible list, Dave McMenamin or Nick Friedel or whoever's making the list by then. But your list will be null and void in my eyes because I know what you guys are going to do is make any excuse to put James Harden up atop Dwayne Wade in that list. And it's going to be a Fugazi list. Kind of sounds like you're, you're complaining about something that doesn't warrant complaining. No, 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 no. It warrants hey, it. Trust me. Hey, Robbie. Hit him. What? You know what? Hit me with what? <laughs> I think it's only, no! it's only meant for, for 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 when a player complains and and, and it's it's shut the bleep up and play. I, I, I you know what I, you know what? Shut the bleep up, James Harden, to defend somebody and stop I tricking the referees. There you go. I don't even yep. care if he doesn't if he didn't say anything. I got you. Crazy. Tired of it. I got you. 